darkest mystery of them all. What we see may represent just a fraction of what's really out there. If gravity works the way it's supposed to, then most of the universe's mass is invisible, existing as what's come to be known as dark matter. So, what's the nature of that missing mass? And what does it all mean for the fate of the universe? The questions lead to some of the greatest mysteries of modern physics. The dark matter question arises because when it comes to galaxies and the bigger structures of the universe, there is much, much more than meets the eye or any other detector of radiation for that matter. For many decades now, scientists have been able to estimate the mass of faraway stars by comparing the characteristics of their light with those of our own sun. This method can even be extended to figure out the mass of galaxies and whole clusters of galaxies. But astronomers can also calculate mass by closely observing the gravitational interactions of celestial bodies, then figuring out what amounts of mass would create those motions. They don't even have to see a star's motion directly. Instead, they can use a change in the spectrum of the star, or redshift, to calculate the star's velocity relative to Earth. That was how astronomer Fritz Zwicky calculated the mass of the Coma Cluster of Galaxies in 1933. The only problem was something wasn't adding up. The mass that he could account for in the stars and galaxies is only a tiny fraction of the mass needed to account for the motion observed in these clusters. Other scientists noticed the same discrepancy for other galaxy clusters. And there was more. The rotational rates of individual galaxies measured in the 50s, 1950s and 1960s were off kilter or out of sync as well. Based on what we have seen, galaxies should be torn apart as they spin. Instead, something appears to be holding them together like solid flywheels with stable rates of spin even accounting for interstellar gas and dust, there's a huge gap to fill. All the signs or indicators point to extra matter that we can't de detect directly, surrounding galaxies like a huge halo, perhaps, perhaps filling in the space between galaxies and exerting an extra gravitational effect on the motions of whole galaxy clusters some of the prime suspects. What is the nature of this matter? The prime suspects break down into a number of categories. Machos, M-A-C-H-O-S. Scientists say the universe may contain swarms of massive compact halo objects, perhaps dim neutron stars or dwarf stars, or perhaps round dwarfs, or rogue planets, or even collapsed stars and black holes left over from the Big Bang. All these objects represent more or less ordinary states of matter, although one would be hard pressed to call black holes ordinary. Neutrinos, these ghost-like subatomic particles, are produced in abundance by our sun and other stars as well as nuclear reactors, but they rarely interact with other forms of matter. Physicists say billions of neutrinos stream through your body harmlessly every second. 
it turns out that such particles have even a tiny bit of mass that could account for at least some of the missing mass. Theoretical particles. Some physicists have also proposed the existence of particles that would be almost undetectable through interactions with ordinary matter, even though they have mass. Various schemes have dubbed them supersymmetric particles, or portinos, or axions, or neutralinos. Many of these particles are put under a, ca a category called WIMPs, W-I-M-P-S, or weakly interacting massive particles. Researchers and scientists have found evidence to support all three possibilities. For nearly a decade or more, or more now, astronomers and scientists have been conducting a survey known as the Macho M-A-C-H-O project to watch for the gravitational lensing effect created when a massive compact halo object passes in front of a distant light source. Scientists say the results have indicated that machos could account for half of the universe's missing mass. The scientists say they have determined that neutrinos indeed possess mass. And researchers have said our own galaxy is surrounded by a gamma ray halo that could hint at the existence of previously undetected whims. But all those dark matter claims are subject to debate. Even the observations relating to neutrinos aren't conclusive. Most people believe these days that while the measurement of mass in neutrinos is interesting, neutrinos can't account for the missing mass. So, how big is the universe? Scientists haven't even figured out yet how much total mass the universe even contains. A no less weighty question is linked to the dark matter debate. Indeed, the nature and amount of dark matter determines whether the universe itself is fated to collapse back upon itself, expand into virtual nothingness, or reach a state of balance. Right now, the best bet is that there isn't, isn't enough matter for gravity to overcome the Big Bang, the Big Bang. Meaning, the universe's, the universe's current expansion will continue forever. But in fact, some scientists are puzzling over new information indicating that the expansion is accelerating. For a long time now, cosmologists have worked under the assumption that there is enough matter to bring the universe into an eventual balance. Figuring out the total mass of the universe may sound like an imponderable question, but surprisingly, many researchers hope to come up with some conclusive answers. But anyway, yes, there's a lot we still don't know. And yes, there's a whole more lot, there's a lot more to learn. God is an amazing God, a wonderful creator. God does know 